Welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. Today we'll be showing you how to add Remote I.O. over EtherCAT for the SysMac NX1P by comparing and merging with actual hardware. The hardware that I have today is an NX1P along with a 1S servo and also the NX EtherCAT coupler with some I.O. on there as well. In my hardware example I show the various part numbers for the components used today. I've opened up SysMac Studio and I'll create a new project and I'll call this Remote I.O. and I will select my controller which is an NX1P2 and the specific model is 9024GT1 and I'll hit create. I'll go to configuration and setup and go to controller setup look at my built-in Ethernet IP and the built-in Ethernet IP says that my PLC default address is 192.168.250.1 and I will come over to controller communication setup I'll enter in that IP address and I'll test the communications. So I'm all set up on my NX1P. I'll go online with that device. And I'll go to my EtherCAT setup and I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to compare and merge with actual network. So here I have previously set up my hardware on my 1S servo and set that to node 1 and my NX coupler I've set that to node 2. So I go out and get information and this is the actual configuration that it sees and I'm going to apply that to my network. So it's brought that over. I'll hit close. I'll now go offline and I'll go to IO map. In IO map, I will go down to my EtherCAT coupler, right mouse click, and say create device variable. And I will also do the same for my real I.O. And what I've done here is added variables so that in my PLC program when I'm ready to program I'll be able to use any of these variables. Now I will go to project, rebuild controller, look for any errors and I'm good. Now I'll go to controller go back online and I will download to the controller and now I'm ready to test my IO I will go to my first output and I'm going to turn this one on and I'll say true and it changes state and if I look at the LED on my output card the very first LED output turns on my current temperature is about 75 degrees and I'm going to warm that up a little bit and we can see that changing. And that is how to add remote I.O. to our NX1P.